Hey guys, Kublai Way back. I'm Aaron. I'm Calvin. I'm Jake. Eric. And we are back with Monarch, the final episode of the season. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Where we are stuck down in hell. It's no. not hell. It's the underspace. We don't have a name for it. I guess Hollow Earth. Mm -hmm. We got a different name for it. We need a new name for it now. Home. Home? Hopefully not for them. <laughs> not for them, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully no. not. What do you think uh, uh, Kiko calls it? She's probably been there the longest. Yeah. Hell! <laughs> we, yeah. <laughs> well, we don't even know how long longest is because weird time. Yep. Weird time. Yep. Weird time. Weird time. I'm excited to see where we go from here and where we finish, actually. Mm -hmm. Are we going to, like, try to, like, tee up the next movie or are we... For the Godzilla Kong? Maybe. X, Cross, whatever they call it. Or are we just going to kind of tee up season two? Yeah. Yeah. See, and just let this kind of weave in the in-between stories. Or do we end and they, like, have they found Monster Zero in their time so far here? Like, there was that place over there? Uh, like, I don't know if the... I know they had a facility, but did they find it yet? Maybe you lead it more towards the uh, King of the Monsters, Monsters movie, yeah. since it hasn't gotten to that point yet. And, yeah, I don't know, like, I don't think they've ever, like, specified when some of the outposts are found. Yeah, we just and, knew like, Monster Zero had an outpost. We don't know by when, 2019, when yeah. it was. But I, I don't feel like, but I mean, maybe they just haven't told us because there's no reason to. But I don't feel like they have found it. Yeah. Like, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. Yeah, but it's... <clears throat> or Mothma. Maybe. Yeah. A lot of different options on what we can do this episode. Let's find out beyond logic lies truth. Let's go. So she heard right away. expecting someone else? I wasn't expecting was anyone. Expecting it to be I know the feeling. We need to move. She's got two arrows left. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she fights all day. Whoa, look at these fireflies. What's your name? God, they're small. I'm, I'm Kate. What's really with you? Bill Randa? Lee Shaw. We, we have to go back. We have to find them. We will. Calm down. She has no idea. What do you tell her? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. You know? She has no idea how long When do been. I say, hey, I'm your granddaughter, and it's been like 40 years? <laughs> I was wondering if there's a chance that like she had figured out time was weird because of sure. maybe she's something like a, else coming through, and she's a scientist. Her and Bill like understood things the best. Yeah. Uh, thing, right? And she understood things better than Bill did. They've come. Oh, she's been sending a signal? I'm sorry. She's the one with the message that the one girl got. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're not part of a rescue party, are you? Not. Look at her clothes. Yeah. You didn't expect to find me here. You thought you were dead. You're not one arc. <clears throat> Who are you? Oh man, that means Leland's here. Yeah. Oh my god. Tell me who you are. Holy shit. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Hey, Cole. Is that really you? Of course it is. Who is this? It's me, Kay. She doesn't want to It's show. Lee. Yeah. Lee? You sound different. Your voice sounds different. Come out where I can see you. No, no, just stay, stay there for a second. There's some things you need to understand first. What things? How long do you think you've been down here, okay? <sighs> two months. By my estimation, 50 57 days. <sighs> Almost two months. Why? Why are you hiding from me? I came down here too. Okay, after you fell. I led a recon mission. Like you were here? I thought I was here for only a week or so, and then I was able to get right back up. I escaped. But it was... It was 1982. <laughs> and that... That was 33... 33 years ago! Man, jeez, the voice crack is so good. Yeah. Fuck. <clears throat> She's 
can be like, this is dark level of casting right here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the gravitational distortion. Some more bingo space type thing. <laughs> Precious of resource. Oh. Hiroshi's good, you can still meet him! Yeah. <laughs> Is it 2015? Did the math already. You always work good with numbers, Kay. Okay? He protect her. It's you. Hey, if I get to save her, it's crazy. Billy. Mm. Okay. He's. He's gone. He died a long time ago. <laughs> Gone a couple months. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> Fifty-seven days is just not that long. Uh -huh. And your granddaughter. She's not wrong. Hey, she's got a drying rack. <laughs> she does. And it's built like it is in the forest. Oh Whoa. His thing. Oh, she found it. Yeah. yeah. And she turned it into the signal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me about him. Oh, uh, well, uh, I don't know. <laughs> He's uh, a family man. <laughs> a two family man. <laughs> yeah. Can you rewire this back? its original configuration? Yes, I think so. I only changed it like a week ago. <laughs> In that case, I'm going to take you home. That's nuts. Yeah. Like, I don't have a family. It's like, actually you do. Plus one. <laughs> Let's move both families into one house. That doesn't sound <laughs> traumatic at all. Can we go around? This is the only way. Can we go around? How heavy is that fucking thing? I don't Even know. if it was just a steel shell, that would be heavy. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know about you guys. I like to get back to it. None of them necessarily look like they're strong. You know, he's just an old guy. <laughs> Is he going to be able to see something because of the way he sees? He has the art idea, right? Yeah. Sure. It's like Sabine, in a way. Ah, 
you see something. You need to figure it out for her. Damn! What are you doing here? I'm not excited when I find you here. He doesn't have his cane anymore. Maybe it's been a few days. Yeah. Well, yeah, as as they're trying to get that thing up the hill, we're seeing weeks pass here. Yeah, maybe. I have an idea. What am I supposed to do with it? I don't know what any of this means. No, you don't. But your father might. You two work with your dad. Save huh? the people from underground. Give her that lamp. Flamingo lamp? <laughs> <laughs> He saved Monarch. He saved everything you and he built. Everything the three of us built. He also doesn't. He also doesn't really know. Nowhere near as cool. TV sets are bigger, flat. Everybody's got one. I mean, they're everywhere. And uh, you know, gadgets. You know, they got a phone that does everything. And it's. Uh... Oh hey, we went to the moon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course, I missed that one too because I was down here. But, you know. Godzilla fought some monsters. This is cruel. You said you wanted me to work with you. To finish your journey. Fine, I'm in. But first help me find my sister. Have a little hope. And your mom, it's gonna be so good, go, go. Mona won't help. No way for something like this. No, it won't. And that's why I quit. <laughs> Monarch is the only game in town. Who else? AET? Apex? Who else is it besides Monarch? No, oh, wait, there's another one! That's it. Well, that's, that's his he pod. Oh. That's where the, the, the four people came in. So. That's the he stump that he was trying really to well. to. Stop. Hey, what is wrong? I'm staying behind. But yeah. no, no. What? Billy's gone. My boy grew up without me. I'm not going to ruin his life again by reappearing something. Don't worry, he's already ruined his own life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Whatever's out there. I think he needs it. My world. Don't do this. No. These monsters have taken everything from me. No more. This curse is broken. With your grandma. Mm -hmm. And you'll get guys together. <laughs> I don't think she's really into guys, but I get you. Oh, sure. Put your way. Like, what's the age difference between yeah, them? You know what I mean? Not a, not a lot. Probably not a lot. Less than a decade at this point. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Here, 
and motor. Hope this works. Which Titan? <laughs> I love that it actually is a full thing and rotates. What, what do you see? I am dragon. Is that the dragon? Yeah, it looks like it. That was already here. In the wake. Those cables are awfully tight. There's something coming through the rift. It's up that the It could it be Godzilla? He was up there. It very could easily be. It looks tall! Yeah, it once hits 3,000 feet, right? We're not gonna get another shot. No! No, Lee. It's leaving. It's going away from us. Shit. He's gonna have to go out. Oh, no! Easily. I mean, if anyone, I think it's Lee. He was the one beat, you know, attacking and doing No! Stuff. Shush! His job was to protect Kay. Promise. It's the same connectors they had in Back to the Future. <laughs> it looks like it's not. Yeah. He needs that thing just to tap it a little bit closer. He's gonna pull the whole little thing over to him. Fucking bad, isn't it? Come on! Is he holding on to that? Yeah. I know that scream! Ugh. Get in the pod, man! Oh shit. He's gonna poke his head like a WWE intro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's Godzilla's music! <laughs> He's gonna swatch you out of the sky. Oh. Yes! <laughs> 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 yeah. What is that? Like an acid ah, breath. He shot that stuff. Sword. In one place, right? This fight's so good. Yeah, I love the slowness. Oh, jeez, oh. get out of there. Bow before your king. Ah. Oh! <laughs> well, he ain't gonna be in season two. We want to get in he there. Grab the thing. No! No! Yeah, you just grab the. Get up there, old man! Oh, the, this is like whenever she fell. Yeah. Oh my gosh! No! No! Damn it! Damn it! I mean, I guess the good thing about it, if he survives the landing, then he'll probably still be alive by the time you guys come back. I feel like it's yeah. one of three things. He lands and lives, he lands and dies, or he gets sucked through this portal like he did back whenever before, right? And he just maybe, goes somewhere maybe, else. Maybe the end of the episode is him in, like, 2024. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> 
He's like, I gotta go back. That's right, you better run! Wait, they... What was that? Yeah. They went off into a side tunnel. Oh, are they like trying to summon them back? <laughs> Were they doing some kind of experiment here? Kentaro we, and Hiroshi is this, and stuff? Was this work of Kentaro and Hiroshi years later? Like, I don't know. Like, we don't know how long they were there. Yeah. Is, like, Kentaro going to be Hiroshi age now? I doubt that much, but... I mean, they went through a different tunnel. It could have changed yeah, how much true. time. Yeah, that's that? a super future thing. That's pretty fancy. Apex, maybe. That's why it's... Right? They went to Apex to do it? They went to Apex. They had yeah. like crazy technology. You know? That's what you said. Monarch's not the only game. Yeah, who else would it be? Look yeah. at this. How old is he? Does he look old? No. He's no, okay. okay. That's what I'm You guys have me worried. But like, it's 20 years later. <laughs> Her son has a beard. Hey, make sure you look at your grandma. He has no clue. He's not even. No, I don't understand most of them. But we were lucky someone had already done a lot of the math. Hiroshi. Nobody's paying attention. Dude, I know. To go yeah, he's he's gonna look up and see her in about his three daughter seconds. Was dead. He knew his mom was gone. There. She looks exactly the same like, as he remembers. Yeah. And he's no longer an eight-year-old. <laughs> he's older than she is. Yeah, by like a lot. Nobody just has blue hangers lying around. It's a blue hanger. It's complicated. A lot's changed in the past two years. Two years. years. It's Told you time! Two years? Damn. What is it, 2017? Yeah. yeah. Let me Here we go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. That means two years till King of the Monsters. What's the rumbling? Skull, Skull Island! Skull Island? Skull! This is... Kong is coming? It's the middle of the storm. Oh my god! Kong! <laughs> we're, we're, not, we're getting Kong in this? Damn! It's over? Man. Damn. Old man Kong, too, yeah. Alright, they gotta be playing more, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't feel like that was just, it's over. That's not just a... See ya. Oh, what a, oh, what a good finale. This was a... I mean, obviously, there's more to come. Well, emotional and, we, and feel, epic. And we got a Godzilla there. fight, which yeah. is too. Hell yeah, know. dude. Mm. And it lasted as long as it should have. He threw that thing back into the portal. Yeah. Hey! He also, he also pulled a Mortal Kombat finisher and ripped him in <sighs> half. He ripped off his arm. Leland will eat this for the next. And he broke off like, his, like the thing's years. tail was wrapped around him. He like ripped it off. Yeah, and stuff. yeah. it was great. So he threw it through the portal. Where did it end up? Did Anywhere. it? Did it end up back on Earth somewhere? Maybe it's. Is it like 
just dead in an underground out. cavern, yeah, or is it just in, just flies in did circles? It land on the ground and it's just decaying somewhere. And I don't know. I don't know. They find it in the past two years. Hmm. Also, doing the Skull Island research, like that had like the thinnest veil or something like that to their world or something. Well, yeah, right? they like, that's, why, through, that's why that's why it was like seeping right? through and had uh, Skull Island or something. I'm surprised that. Apex has a facility there. I mm-hmm. thought Monarch might have had like a you know a monopoly. Of- Maybe. I mean, was no one it has jurisdiction, right? Yeah. It's not a it's international. Yeah. It doesn't it's not a owned by any country. It's not claimed by anything. Yeah. It wasn't Monarch that was running the Godzilla Kong thing, right? Um that had the Ewe girl Gia. Yeah. That was Monarch. Because uh Lynn was hired by Yeah, but he Walter was separate. He was separate. The his was she his girlfriend in that at one point? They knew each other. Yeah, they were familiar with each other. She was she was monarch. Oh, bearded Kong. He's pretty good. I think his beard's even bigger for the new one. It looks like Is it? the trailer. Yeah, he's getting older and beard. His whole body's hairy. What do you mean? He's still yeah, but he has like an, a pronounced beard. I mean, it's the major design difference between some of the other Kongs we've seen. Yeah. In especially one. from. Squall into Godzilla vs. Kong. Because he's mm-hmm. still growing. Yeah. <laughs> just a cool wasn't thing. That, wasn't that the line said that he'd be yeah. bigger than Godzilla? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Damn. Hmm. That was, uh, what an emotional episode. Yeah. Man, fucking, okay. Yeah, so I guess it could be that Leland is, I mean, he's still going to be in there, you yeah, know? Like, yeah. A couple of weeks and he could come out in 2024. Because yeah. yeah. my thought was like either A, he, he, Floats through because that's what happened the first time he was there. It was just his body that went through mm-hmm. the portal. Yeah, um, and he was already being sucked up, kind of in a way. Mm-hmm. That he falls and dies from being drugged and hit the ground or whatever happens, or yeah. he just lands there and he's the one surviving now. But it did have that parallel to whenever he yeah. was trying to save yeah. her, and it was like, "Don't let go." Yeah. But here he like chooses to make sure that she gets out yeah. and does not. You think that shows up because it's at all? too much weight. Uh, yeah, I don't We're know. Watch a movie and people are gonna be like, "Why the fuck is Kurt Russell here?" <laughs> yeah, what is Kurt Russell showing up for? <laughs> people that don't watch Godzilla, what's Just going on? The end of Godzilla Just down there in the Godzilla X Kong like movie, yeah. like, down like down the, the end of the movie. It's like rock music and he walks through a portal, <laughs> and it's just Kurt Russell. You're like, oh, okay. Big wide camera angle zoomed into tiny little Kurt Russell. It's also one of the things too Beyond of like, logic. yeah, what do you do with him? Kind of like. Uh, she what was it? King of the Monsters. Um, there's Mark's wife, who kind of joins Charles Dance and is doing like terroristy things. And you kind of get to the point where it's like, well, if if she doesn't die in this movie, what does her future look like? Having done these things and blowing up these yeah. facilities and causing all this damage in a way, right? Yeah. So it's kind of like, well, she didn't really have too many options. So she's probably going to go to jail or something. You yeah. know? Sure. So, with Leland, so he like, has a. a- Tortured freedom here. Yeah, right? Like, Leland, kind of in the same way, like, was blowing up these rifts. I don't know that they... Did they kill anybody? No, I don't think so. Because, like, they went to that one facility, but I don't think they shot No, they didn't there. kill... I don't think they killed anybody. They kind of just were there and were like, ah, we're in charge now. There's not much you can do. Yeah. yeah. They were like, lock the doors. Everybody's staying here, and we're not hurting anybody. Yeah. yeah. But, like, You can even, leave if you want. Even before he did that, they tossed him in a retirement home and left him there to run, yeah. you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, like, I don't know. I don't feel like he had yeah. a great future if he stayed there either. <laughs> what was he in the retirement home for 30-something years? 33? Yeah, what was it 80? 82 to 2015. 82. He, well, that's... He said 33 years after the 1962 mission, so... Mm-hmm. Or when he come, came back. So, yeah, he was in the retirement home for 33 years. So he like when he said stuff to Kay about like let's get back to our robot butlers like mm-hmm. he doesn't know most of that he's just been in this facility yeah like he didn't even know how to start the the van it's like when people are in prison and they come out they, yeah they have no yeah. idea yeah like they get little tidbits of it because like the prison TV will change or you know that stuff but how well, I figure how would we I figure he thought that that much time would pass so that. Maybe. They could get back to because he knows like they don't have flying cars. Yeah, but he was like, "Yeah, let's get back to our flying cars That's and robot." True. He butlers. did say he did say flying cars. So because yeah. he's all, he he's already thinking that yeah, time is going to pass. We yeah. just don't know how much. Yeah, in two years, mm-hmm. for not even a day. That how how would right? we yeah. calculate the the time distortion? 
Like, if 57 days equals 33 years, like, what's the formula to calculate that? Well, it's more than 33 for her, because she fell in 59. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was like, His 33 was years, from when he got 56. back. He was, yeah, it was 33 from 82 to 2015. He was there for a week, and that was 20 years. So, she was there for, well, well, I mean, she was only he, there. He said, I thought it was a week, or right? Or like, something. around a week. A week or so. Week, a week or so. Yeah. And she's estimating 57 days. So, um, fifteen, and it was nineteen fifty-nine when she fell in. Yeah. Um. So let's say it's fifty-eight days, and now she comes out in twenty seventeen. Yeah. By her, by right. hers, it would be a week or a day as a year. A day is a year. Yeah. It's a day is a year. So yeah, it is a hyperbolic time chamber. Okay. Right. Yeah. Because like nineteen twenty fifteen minus. 1959 is 56 years. Yeah. 2017 minus 1959? It's 56. She estimated 57 days. So, pretty close to a day to a so, year. So, that. But so it doesn't quite work out with his, but like it doesn't need to. He was closer to a rift. Time could be weirder there. Because hmm. if, the, if that's the constant, he would have needed to be there 20 days, and I think he would have been a little more... He could have said two to three weeks. He went... When did he come out? 82? Is that when it was? He went in in 1962. He came out in 1982. So it was 20 years? Yeah, 20 years. And he figured he was in there for a week. And he should be pretty good at that. Yeah, so that... Yeah. But it doesn't have to be a constant. It could just be the distortion is just kind of different depending where, maybe. Yeah. Could be how, how, how close you stay to a portal versus how far away you get... The time so, difference yeah, changes. Yeah, so if one day is one year, then one hour is 15 days, one minute is six hours, and one second is six minutes. That's nuts. Yeah. It's like that uh, interstellar scene. Which I could probably buy the four of them being there down there for a day or two. Yeah. True. That's, that was if, my estimate was a day. But I mean, they, they got down there, they had to find each other, they had to find her, they had to bring that thing there, yeah. they had to yeah. set it, it was, up. It was like morning when they got there. Yeah. Because like there was fog everywhere, and it was dark when they left. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I mean, that's probably the closest we're going to get is a day is a year. Yeah. What all was she saying about the uh, Axis Mundi? Mundi. So she said it was like a patchwork that it wasn't between heaven. And it was like it was between. Like she's referring to where they were, like that. I think like the, where they were the hollow- isn't where Kong is. Like you know, like where Kong went is that what they're meaning? I don't like this is in between the two. I think that's still. I think the Hollow Earth is like the patchwork. Is that what that is? Hollow Earth because it's like maybe because it's upside and da- upside down. If you remember that, it had mm-hmm. the mountains. But it I don't might see be a thing. The wide shot here didn't have the no, land it didn't. At the top. But it was know. also dark. Yeah, that's why I was wondering if like what she meant was kind of referring to like where they were presently was like. It wasn't where we saw Kong go to in Godzilla vs. Kong. And it's like an well, in-between That might world, be the Axis movie right? then. And this is like the true other side. Right? Yeah. Godzilla vs. Kong. That's what I was, they, I was wondering. Do there, we, was, there, wasn't, there was no time dilation with the people that went there, right? Not that we... Nothing like pronounced there that we know of, but they yeah. also weren't there for very long. They yeah. were there for like... They didn't last very long. Uh, yeah, but if they're there for an hour, and that's fifteen days. Yeah, like you figure it would be noticeable when they came back. Yeah, it, so that, maybe it's just. But see, that it has to be different because, like, Godzilla literally blew a hole from the surface of the Earth down to where Kong was, and that's where it kind of like gets weird with the way this is doing it. Yeah, but that's just going to be. That's why I was wondering what she was saying universe. to try to understand what she was meaning yeah. because there's. I feel like they're trying to like patch it together to be like there is another world that just lets us bring in all kinds of stuff but the hollow earth thing still works too so I feel like they're trying to meld a middle ground it's, and I was trying to understand what yeah. she said he, they but didn't say dilation they said dis, like gravitational distortion, distortion here so that would imply that there's the distortion isn't necessarily even right that it would wane it's not well. linear I mean you could also just say Godzilla was able to punch a hole in it maybe in a rift, and they went through like, the rift. That's you keep that for death battle. Like Kong himself. That's, that's some crazy feats. <laughs> yeah, Kong himself like jumped through the section where like gravity flipped. 
Mm-hmm. You know, like it like it was really light, and then he flipped over and. Tell you what, I like yeah. this better than how it was presented in that movie. What do you mean? In terms of like the what's down there, or I guess what Leland says, like it's not down there. We just entered here. Yeah. Like I like did that. We fall or I, I just, did that we? That just feels a little here. better to me than the Hollow Earth. You don't mean how it looks. You just mean like what the uh, what the, the actual is. Yeah. Yeah, but right now both exist. Sure. Right? So yeah. I'm just trying to place how they work. Yeah. Because like yeah. I don't feel like Godzilla can blow a hole to where Leland. Is right now. Maybe that's, that's the why network. Through. Then. So yeah, I'm just trying to like. Maybe out there's how. something else that's not quite Hollow Earth, but like is like the is nexus. a midpoint to the the other side. Sure. That well, because like be, in, that can be a little a little bit different than what we understood before. Yeah. In I mean, King of the Monsters, two realms, there could be three. In King of the Monsters, where oh, Godzilla sure. goes to is in the Hollow Earth, but it's not like there. It's just like deep down and it, in it's like a deep in the Earth's thing. crust. Yeah. Right. Yeah, like way down inside. Like, well, we don't really know. They could have gone through a portal, and we just identified it as still being on Earth. I don't know. I mean, maybe it didn't look anything like that, though. Did he? Yeah, but it was still it underwater. Through water. It was. It was just a underwater civilization. And then whenever they took the uh, the he following Kong, like most of that was just through a cavern network, you know. So I don't know. The Probably not worth thinking about it too much. It's probably never going to be explained well enough to have like hard set rules on it or yeah, know exactly what things maybe are. Maybe it shouldn't. Maybe yes, it, it should be like ants trying to understand a building where it's like, I don't know. Yeah. I, I guess. <laughs> it also would, like, I said it earlier, but it could set up a lot of like goofy show era stuff because mm-hmm. aliens would come to Earth and they would have weird, dumb reasons. You could make it to where like they want access to these other dimensions and Earth yeah. is a way to do that. Is there other ways to get to this dimension that's not just through Earth? I don't know. You know? I'm, that's what I'm saying, is you could use it as a way to do that. Like, is the invasive species of Ghidorah not from space itself, but came from here and came back out, yeah. you know, but came from, like... Dimension is, X. Is there, is there another world where, like, it also has portals where it takes you to this place, and then this yeah. place can take you to Earth? Yeah. Well, then that's... She said it's but like a patchwork of ours mm-hmm. and theirs and what else, so it could be... Yeah. I don't know. We could get into weird shit. Yeah, I mean, if it's gravitational anomalies, then yeah, what does the like what does the sun take you to? What does Mars take you to? It's like in Dragon Ball, when Frieza comes to Earth and gets killed by Trunks, he then goes to Earth's hell, <laughs> not a hell that his people would have gone to, but specifically Earth's hell. Mm-hmm. Maybe there's something there. I don't know. This is like the Earth portal. It's where the blood used to be. Water. It's like a yeah. It's like exits on the highway. Mm-hmm. I was not expecting to root for Tim as much as I did by yeah. the time, like when he first showed up, I was like, okay, this is this guy. Yeah. But like he progressively just got better and better the whole season to where he's maybe my favorite character I like on him. the show. Yeah. I think I agree. I mean, Leland as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool. I'm, I'm glad that. Leland got to. Protect I mean, it her. sucks that he's stuck there, but he got to fulfill his promise. From we so think long he's ago. stuck there. Oh. He could have he could have come through in yeah. like the wake. True. And didn't have that cuz it didn't yeah. feel like they're going through and then it just like turned real suddenly. Yeah. 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 Which like he might be going through a longer tunnel that drops him off like 5 years in the future instead of 2. You know? I, yeah, and that and that visualization of them making that left turn, they could do anything with that. It could be an alternate history now that they Yeah. do with like the future of the show Monarch because they Took me for a left turn. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to it's hard to guess now, because they they're entering in new portals and time distortion. They can do anything. You know, it just depends on how sure well they handle it. I really like this show because, like, with it being like Monarch, I don't feel like I was necessarily being like, all right, I have to have uh, you know big old monster fights, right? Like, you go to a Godzilla movie, you're expecting Godzilla. Yeah, like this isn't like Godzilla. Monarch. It's yeah. just Monarch, Legacy of Monsters. So, like, it's about the people who have created the company yeah. and what they're going through and what that's like. So It's one of the very few times in, like, a universe like this where I'm like, no, focus more on the humans. <laughs> more people. <laughs> sure. And like, then you, you just get... sprinkle the monsters yeah. around, you know, as yeah. a decoration. Like, I think I enjoyed this more than the first Godzilla movie. Because... Not like I don't mean like the Japanese one, but I mean like the first no, one. No, no, right, I know what you mean. I, I know what you mean. Just because, like, in that one, there, like, I think I was watching. I'm like, 
I want Godzilla. And like, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Ah, oh, there he is. I can't see him. It's too dark. He's real Bigfoot. And they're fucking, <laughs> you know. And then you eventually, like, yes, here he is. You might have gotten the one that you might have seen the one that has the really bad um, lighting mix. Maybe I haven't watched it since like way back when it came out. So I maybe mean, I need to watch it again. I like the the cinematography and the scale and the speed for the fight in this one too. Mm-hmm. That was good. I need to. I want to rewatch so it again yeah. for sure. I mean, there's a couple shots that are like, man, the camera's probably going like 80 miles an hour there, you know? Yeah. But still, it's... It, I think it's fine. It, there, there's it's also, fun. like, we're in an alien world in a way, too, right? So it's not much to ground it in terms of trying to lock off your camera either. Yeah. And I think I don't think you, like, need to never do that. No. I just think when you do it, it needs to be effective, and yeah. it was effective here. Mm-hmm. I, I really need to watch that fight again, because I got a little too just glossed over that, oh, we're doing it. Fucking Godzilla's face appeared. <laughs> really, really needed entrance. It was a, a WWE entrance. <laughs> Challenger has arrived. Sure, yeah. That dragon was big. There's like than I already a wrestle, like a, there's a, a match happening. Yeah, right? uh, yeah. And then all of a sudden, it. music just dark <laughs> comes in real quick. Rumble. Uh, yeah, glass breaks or whatever. I mean, and then Kong at the end, man. Yeah, yeah the Kong might be the biggest surprise. Yeah, I thought with the way we were handling it, ah, we, won't, we won't see Kong. He's on, you know, we're not going that deep into Monarch. We're not dealing with any of that. Then to have a Kong at the very end is. I mean, with that, what what are they doing there? Yeah, but I mean, maybe that's what season two is going to be like. Yeah. Maybe it'll be more Kong focus. Yeah, I'd be okay with that if this, yeah. like, if the show decided that it was going to be focused on a different Titan every mm-hmm. season. And kind of like be focused around that. Like season one's Godzilla, season two is Kong. Like maybe the next season fits you more between like, like we saw Kong in Skull Island. We don't see him during like King of the Monsters. Yeah. You know, like there's at some point they put him in that big dome. Yeah. Like maybe it bridges those elements. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I forgot the opening of that movie where he's just like getting ready for the day. Yeah, it's like, it's like his morning routine, and then he chucks the the tree or whatever tree the, like a spear. Uh, yeah. After he sees a little girl. Yeah. With her little Kong doll. Yeah, so, like, I think that would be a really cool thing. Because then you could do, like, maybe some more of your obscure Titans that you use on the show. Mm-hmm. For, like, future seasons a little yeah, more. Sure. Like, as the focus Maybe you see more on Mothma or, I don't know. Yeah. Mothra. Yeah. I was going to say, that's the second not, time not, you've done that. I'm doing Mon Mothra. Either you're doing Mon Mothra. I'm thinking of that intentionally. Or you're just... Yeah, I didn't know if he was doing intentionally, and I just... creeping in. Star Wars is always there. Yeah. But. Yeah, you could do a season on Mothra. You could do a season on That'd some of the sure. original ones to, like, maybe try and get those to be more of something that you can move forward with the universe instead yeah. of only using legacy characters as your main. And if we're more involved with Apex... Like, we get to see maybe their growth or their acquisition of the, the head or, you know. Yeah. Charles Dance in this show. Yeah. Oh, maybe get I him. You know? I don't know. It's possible we could have that. I don't or you see that. the progression of Monarch in general, too, where you have, uh, you know, they go from the, the first movie with, like, nothing to, like, in the second movie, they have that giant plane. Yeah. <laughs> like, I think it's huge. And, and the, the um, oil, oil rig with the... Castle Bravo, is what yeah, they called the, the so. outpost there, outpost 54. Where they were watching them. Yeah. The Godzilla's just that there. Was, that was like their Godzilla outpost. Yeah. Maybe yeah, we, we could get... growth of that or something. We might, we might not even spend time with Monarch because they left, though. Sure. You know, so what do you call the next one? Apex? Legacy of Monsters? I mean, you <laughs> stick with the name, but it's how, how you travel parallel with them or how you branch off with what they've decided or... Monarch. Well, and how Apex you use... Predator. How you use K. Right? Who has been gone and yeah. now she's back. Does she stay with Monarch? Does she walk away from it? Yeah, I don't know. You know? I mean, the, the Titans are her whole life and, like, nobody listened. She's in a world where everybody knows now. Yeah. Godzilla's still alive. She could that have You can't major... say Titans don't exist. Yeah, you well, know? yeah she's been she, there for two months. How much to... did she learn? How yeah. many Titans and she see? everything did she see? Like, she knew about them being territorial. She yeah, the... Forest pig. Yeah, so it's almost like she went and lived with the gorillas. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it was like an expedition for yeah. her. So she gets to see like how just they operate, and it like connects Jane more Girl. to being like, yeah, they're just they are animals. They work like animals do. Like, yeah. What she does did. she know that we don't know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, she's only had fifty some days, but I mean, that's he'll illuminate a lot of things. Fifty some that. days to live with titans. <laughs> yeah. 
It was, it was kind of funny where when he was like, well, you always were good with numbers. I want to be like, she just had 30. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, man, that was so, like, uh, not Kentaro, uh, Hiroshi. Just, him just saying mama just yeah. broke me. Mm-hmm. Wow. I like, guess the yeah. most I've ever cared about human characters in this, these stories. Like, they don't know what's going on. They, they have no idea. Just, like, a miracle has happened around these titans. Mm-hmm. Just such an emotional oh. beat, man. Hiroshi's life, like... It's interesting because you have the, uh, I said on the reaction, but like he felt like he didn't have a relationship with his parents because yeah. they all, like he had, the mom disappeared mm-hmm. yeah. and then Uncle Lee, you know, vanished. Yeah. And then because of all that, his dad Became just really pushed into yeah. all this stuff trying to prove and everything. He and then he disappeared, you yeah. know, like his, all of his family or parents or, you know, any he of that kind of stuff. Destroyed just, his own, or practically fucked up his own legacy to try to. Polish theirs, I guess. Right? Yeah, but then I guess I think like he pushed that away and he gets to the point where it's like it meant something. What did it mean? You know, yeah. them not being here. Yeah, Lee came back, like all that kind of stuff, and then he does the same thing by like not being there necessarily for his kids and just disappearing too. You know, it's just like a pattern of self destruction. Sure, and, but also know, like there's it's like we, we're breaking this curse. We gotta stop this. Yeah, but also like. While, while there is that element there, there's also like what they're doing and what it means for the the greater good, I guess, yeah. or whatever is is there. Like what they built was important, but no one wanted to see it. Mm-hmm. And he wants to prove that it's like they were they were right. You know, there is a network. There is this. There yeah. is that. Do they ha- not have the rights to the Toho like Godzilla theme? I I don't know. They, how Oz would have been when he was coming mm, through the. I mean, no, no, no. They should have. <laughs> Um, they use it in the movies. They, right? they a, a version of it. Yeah, sort. Bear McCreary did a version of it in yeah. King of the Monsters, and it's incredible. Mm-hmm. But I don't know what the show has access to or gotcha. how they want to use it. But I mean, it's one of the longest running character themes mm-hmm. in movies, mm-hmm. and one of the most iconics. Should use it. It's there for like people love it for a reason. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Well. I'm glad we watched the show. This is a fun one. Yeah, I think, like... I didn't expect to like it as much as I did, honestly. Yeah. I think it had, like, a kind of a slow middle. Mm-hmm. Where kind of, like, I was like, okay, it's all right. It, I think some of it's carried by my bias, but, like, the last three have really... Like, oh, no, they just did a lot of really good building that made these worth it. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, like, the reason I was saying about, like, the first movie and me liking this more is I think I felt more connected with these characters. But also, with it being a TV show... You get more time. You get more time with some of stuff too. So you get to like having that connection too of the past to the future and stuff too, where like I understand what Lee went through. There's just a lot more I think that they did in this than they did in that. To where like like, I came to watch Godzilla. Where the heck's Godzilla? Who's this guy? Where's Brian Cranston? Why is he going? It also has the benefit of like (laughs) existing off a world that already did a lot of the like groundwork of like okay, this is mostly like our world. And that's true. It also like this paints a, a. I don't know, a better picture for me, maybe, because I've only seen this movie once in theaters. So now when I go back, I'm just going to have a lot more understanding about what's happening with all these organizations and people yeah. versus the first time I'm watching, I'm just kind of like, okay, cool, but when's the monster fight? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Because that's what I'm doing. I'm eating popcorn. But here, with the notes and really trying to absorb everything, I'm sure it's just going to enhance those movies. In a, yeah. In a I wonder if watching it now it would yeah. be different or anything. So I'm it's like to watching watch. Clone Wars and then going back yeah, and watching. Watching the prequels. Mm-hmm. It also would be really interesting to watch the whole monster verse like in chronological order mm. of like Skull Island, Godzilla, yeah. this King of the Monsters, and then just to see how like it how well it flows through all that. Sure, it'd be a fun you know thing to try at some What year point. is King of the Monsters? King of the Monsters like twenty nineteen. So it's two years after the end of this. So we're so, leading into some big fights. Just a shame that Bill Randall would never know how right he was. Nope. Well, he knew how right he was. He just couldn't prove it. He couldn't tell everybody. He couldn't. He couldn't see everybody's face when they realized that he was right. Yeah, man, dude. When she found out that he had died, that oh. was, yeah, the acting she, was amazing. Yeah, they sense. were. She and uh, obviously, um, blanking on his name, Kurt Russell. Kurt Russell really just dialed it in that mm-hmm. that scene yeah. together. I liked his choice of like 
letting yeah. her hear his voice first. Yeah. To try to ease her into the yeah. shock of her life. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Because well, he, know, he, he knows did. that shock. Yeah. yeah. He's been mm-hmm. hurt. He's yeah. the only and, person who understands. And that that voice break he had when he was yeah. still behind the tree was. I like that. Oh, yes. Good. Yeah. It killed me. You know, I think this too also will make Skull Island better just with uh, Goodman's character, right? Oh, yeah. Like, you'll have a different idea yeah, of that you'll, you'll, like, you'll, you'll kind start. of see why his... Like, you understand where his obsession with this comes from. Yeah. I want to I want to rewatch it with, like, this kind of idea, like, oh, well, he lost his best friend, he lost his wife, he's trying to prove this kind of stuff. Like, yeah. what does he, does he... Do I feel that from this, or is that kind of like... It, does it re-imagine uh, his character a little bit for me? I definitely, like, just thinking on the movie, because I'd seen... I've seen it somewhat recently, in the last couple months... I would definitely say like it frames his character much better. Mm-hmm. Like you understand his need for this like obsession. It's not just him chasing the Lawton, which they had in the movie, which we had in the show, but the it's Lawton. also the ship the that ship. The ship. started oh, that it all. Ship his that ship. Yeah. Yeah, that was the ship that got him on this path. But you know, he had these ghosts haunting him. And I think it just is gonna enhance all the films, really. Yeah, and he's had experience with some monsters before all that too, which I don't remember if I realized or experienced or if that really came through before. He never really said, he just said monsters exist. Yeah. Because he would have seen the Endoswarmers. The dragon, Godzilla. The Iron Dragon, Godzilla. I think that's it. He at least would have seen those before Skull Island. Mm Mm-hmm. Having some awareness. Yeah. And and it like, it's one thing to be a crazy to be a person and be like I experience this crazy thing and then I see these monsters on Skull Island like you would expect him to still be surprised and he wasn't so the fact that he sees monsters in this show kind of like helps sell the fact that like he's not like some of the other characters who are like oh my god what's yeah. this he's more like ah, there we go yep. I knew they'd be here I've been waiting. 20 years to make sure that I could find a place to actually show people so they could tell people this exists. Was I it 79? 72, because it was 72 Vietnam. 72 there? Okay. So yeah, it was, it was 10, 10 years, years before Lee comes back. Then. Yeah. And it 10 was, years after was, Lee. Yeah, it was managed. right in the middle of te- the 10 years. and So, we're not certain that he didn't see any other Titans. We just don't hear him talking about any other Titans. In the movie, yeah. In yeah. 10 years, yeah. he... Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't like oh, you say brought that this up last new. time. I know. It's just in ten years, it's crazy. Yeah, but like, that's, he probably lived a hard ten years of just traveling the globe on very little funding. I living, guess yeah. living his life hard, living through grief. He yeah. kept it. He, the, Lee said that he kept Monarch alive though. Because like, if you watch, I mean, it's not as pronounced because he's still the same actor. But like, if you watch twenty fourteen Godzilla, they definitely try to make. Brian Cranston looked like he's kind of lost it in those. It's like a couple thirteen of years because right? it's ninety nine until to twenty fourteen. Yeah, twenty fourteen, so fifteen years. I mean, they don't. He doesn't definitely doesn't age that hard, but like, try and put some emphasis on the fact yeah. that living with that amount but of he per, aged of less obsession. in those fourteen years yeah. than he does in those ten years. But, but he also but, was staying but, in one place. Bill Bill Rando was traveling the globe, yeah. trying to do stuff. Probably messing with radiation, sleeping in tents most of the time. <laughs> yeah, sleeping in tents, not having. You know. All right, he's still trying to get the jeep out of third. <laughs> yeah. It'd be interesting if we could get a season with him in that ten-year period where he's on his own. That could be interesting. Well, that's the thing too. It's like, do they continue from where they are? Do they keep doing the, uh, the, the two timeline, timeline split thing? Yeah. Like, that's a possibility too, especially if they start working with Kong, and then you start seeing him like looking for Kong Island yeah. or Skull Island or something. Well, or if what. they're working with Kong, it would be a really good way to like also expand maybe the time that he spent on Skull Island. Sure. You know, or even the um, the tribe people that live the Iwi that lived with them. Yeah, I mean, they are where he ended up. And the Iwi have some weird stuff going on too, because they make comments about how like they don't seem to age and some other stuff. So maybe we could get into that. Maybe they could be like fairies. <laughs> you know what? I've never agreed with you more. <laughs> Fae creatures. If you enjoyed it, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Like the video and uh, join us in wishing for another season of this show. And uh, if you haven't, also go back and check out. We did some reviews of some of these of these movies and stuff, and uh, I'm sure there's going to be more Godzilla to come. And we watched Shin Godzilla. We did. We did. Check that out.